play guitar in Voodoo Vegas. Uh, what Blackstar amp do I use? Well, I use um, a Blackstar Artisan 30. Um, I absolutely love this amp. Um, I use it for many reasons. Uh, firstly, because it cuts through the sound amazingly live on stage. It works amazing in the studio. It's got a really clear tone, lots of clarity, punch to it. Um, the clean channel is very nice and chimey and pretty. Um, I think, and then when you're on channel two, um, it's a lot more gruff, it's that typical classic rock sound. Um, it's nice and thick and meaty, um, fat sounding. And what's cool about it is you can flip between the choice of using it on 10 watts or 30 watts, um, but I, I tend to use it on the 30. Well, um, a couple of years ago, um, I was playing a gig in my hometown in Bournemouth, and um, I was playing with the choir boys and backstage I got talking to them and also the guys from Bad Company because they were there too backstage and they uh, recommended that um, I started using a black star because I was having lots of kinds of troubles getting the tone I wanted with my amp I was using at that time. Um, um, but at that time I was already using a black star product. I was using the black star HT dual um, pedal, which was amazing. Um, but the amp I was using at the time wasn't quite right. So um, I thought that product's amazing. I'm sure their amps will be and I, I trusted their opinions. So I went and tried a few out and um, got one straight away. <laughs> Um, what I love about this is it's got fantastic build quality. Um, it's, um, it's got nine valves in it, so it's nice and juicy. Uh, four of them are nice EL84s. Um, I run this with um, a 2x12 cab, uh, Class A Celestian speakers. Um, it's an open back cab, so you're going to get a nice full sound. Um, also, it's all hand wired point to point stuff, so. Um, it's just all I need, really. It works fantastic in the studio, fantastic live. It just, um, it ticks all my boxes and it's the tone and style I've always wanted. So there's no need to explore any other options. I'm happy with what I've got, so. Um, the Black Star handles the live situation incredibly well. It's never let me down. It's completely reliable. Um, and I always get the sound I want, no matter what type of venue I'm playing. <laughs> set up. Um, basically, it could be um, a bit more unusual compared to some other people with their amps because I channel blend. Because uh, basically, I love channel one because it really cuts through and it's so chimey and pretty. Um, but I, I love channel two as well because that's where the gain is and it's gruffer and it's got that fat sound. Uh, so I blend between the two channels, hence this patch lead here. And then um, I come out the high output of channel one into my uh, Blackstar HT dual pedal. Um, also, I set my EQs like, I have my treble just before halfway, my middle and bass, and my gain just over halfway. Because um, I really like the mid tones the most. I'm not, I like the scoop sound as well, but it's, it's not really what I do in my band. Um, and then I have the bass shape up to max. Um, and then the volumes tend to be on about too, because it's such a loud amp, even though it's on 30 watts, it's insanely loud. And that's even with playing big places, it's only on about two usually. Um, yeah, and then because I've got my HD dual pedal, I've got two extra stages of gain on top of this as well. And that also has a valve in it. So really I'm playing around 10 valves. Um, so it's sounding really warm and really good. I, oh yeah, I also put the voice in on warm as well, because you can have it on bright, but I, I like it on warm. Um, in the studio, um, we did our album called The Rise of Jimmy Silver, um, and that was out just over a year ago. Um, and I used my Blackstar amp on pretty much every single track. Um, I used it on all the rhythm tracks and some of the lead tracks, but I, I used this most of the time, a good at least 90% of the time. Um, and yeah, I absolutely love it. And my relationship with Blackstar, um, it's really positive actually. Um, out of anyone I've ever been um, endorsed by, Blackstar have been the most helpful um, with giving me advice or any help I need, whether it's over the phone or through email. 
Um, if I phone someone and they're not there to take the call, they'll ring me back as soon as they can, um, email as quick as they can. They're just really, um, they're just really positive for me. Um, even with um, if I need to borrow equipment abroad, they'll loan it to me as well. So yeah, they're really there for me and it's a really positive relationship. Well, at the moment we're uh, writing for our second album and I think it's going to be great. Uh, it's going to have a bit more of a matured sound, but while still sounding like, you know, Voodoo Vegas. And we're going to use the same producer we used last time for the album, uh, which was Pedro Ferreira, who um, produced uh, Permission to Land by The Darkness. Um, so he, he was amazing for us last time, um, so if you could use him again. And um, also we're touring with uh, Y&T, um, they're coming over from America. We're going to do a European tour with them, um, Belgium, Holland, Spain, and one in the UK as well, in Southampton. And, and all that's in October, so that should be really good. And um, we'll be playing Paris, um, our own show there in December. And um, yeah, we've got loads of UK dates as well to look forward to. Oh, including headlining the bar fly in October. So yeah, lots of exciting stuff in the pipeline. So thanks for watching everyone. Um, if you want to keep up to date with all my goings ons with me and my band Voodoo Vegas, then just check out www.voodoovegas.com. And also Voodoo Vegas is on Facebook and Twitter. And you can find me on Facebook and Twitter. Just search Meryl Hamilton. Okay. Thanks. <laughs>